What earth do you live on? The world revolves around the feminine. The world revolves around women. The world literally is created from the feminine. So why are you as a man consistently and repetitively telling me what your wants and needs are as if I'm just supposed to bow down to what you want from me? I'm not built and I'm not wired to give you what you want. I'm not created to give you what you want. You are created to uphold and uplift me. You are created to uphold and uplift feminine energy, not the other way around. Welcome back to Earth Feminine. And if you're new here, welcome. This is the channel where you can come and learn all about primal feminine energy, the feminine energy that existed before colonization and before all of the conditioning around what we believe it means to be a woman. My name is Asaya and I am the Creatrix and founder of the Creatrix Academy. The Creatrix Academy is an online platform where you can come and enroll into courses programs it's also a community of women who are ready to unlock what i have coined as their mystical art of feminine energy if you would like to learn more about the creatrix academy make sure you go down to the links below in the description to check out the courses and programs that are available now for 50% off until the end of 2023 that resonate the most with you on where you are at on your feminine journey. In this video, we are going to be talking about how right now, ladies, it is time for us to end the era of pleasing men right now there is a lot of information there are a lot of videos there are a lot of things that are geared towards women feeling and believing that they are supposed to be the ones to bring pleasure and please a man in the relationship and this is causing many women to show up in relationships very performative, very pretentious, behaving in ways that are not authentic to who they actually are, and putting on a front, whether they believe that front is how they're supposed to be as a woman, like this is how a feminine woman acts, so I have to be like this. Um, it's also causing women to believe that they have to do things and behave in ways intimately with men that are going against how if they were to prioritize their own pleasure their own desires first they wouldn't even do in the first place i remember i was having a conversation with someone years ago it was actually a guy there was a conversation that i remember us having when we were in contact with each other so i have another channel that channel is called Asaya Mystic. I'll link it here in the video. On that channel, I did an interview with a couple. Um, they had their own podcast and they wanted me to come onto their channel and talk about relationships with them in my perspective because they had came across one of my videos and they thought that I had really interesting perspectives. So I did the interview with them. It was super nice. I enjoyed it. Um, but naturally I had a lot of things to say that's controversial to a lot of the ways that people think. And after I did the interview, he watched the video and he got in touch with me after I did the interview and he said to me, I completely disagree with your point in this video. So the point in the video that I made was that i believe that people have the way that they raise men and women completely backwards 
Because in mainstream society, we raise our boys to be very free, to have, you know, no, no real restrictions, no real rules or regulations around what they do in relationship to women, how they carry themselves, you know, like we just kind of like let boys be boys, right? And when it comes to girls, it's the complete opposite. We're very constrictive. We're very controlling. We have all these limitations around where she can go, who, who she can see, all these things, because we're more protective of, of women. We're more protective of girls. And so in that podcast, I voiced how it's actually backwards, how we should be giving men more rules, regulations, um, structure and morality to live by when we're raising them instead of bringing that onto our girls and for our girls we should be giving them more opportunity to explore themselves more freedom to be able to express themselves more of the permission to be able to experience what it means to be a young lady and he did not like that. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people didn't like the fact that I said that. But it, when you think about it, it makes sense because the only reason we feel like we need to protect and constrict and cage our women is because we don't trust men, because we don't trust the chaos of the world that is mainly produced by men. We don't trust the masculinity of this world to naturally protect and keep our women safe. That is the main reason why we are so constrictive and restrictive over our daughters when we're raising our daughters. So when we realize that a lot of the restrictions we're putting on our women is based on the philosophies that we hold that we should be giving men all this freedom to have free reign to do whatever they want. We It, it kind of flips the script to where we're realizing, actually, if we were to raise our men to have more morality, more rules, regulations, structure, which masculine energy needs in order to rise into its healthy state of masculinity, then women will naturally be able to embody more of their creativity, more of their creative expression, more of their sovereign nature as women, because we're not basing everything that a woman does and their freedoms off of men that are underdeveloped. So right now we're living in a society that is literally wired to gear women towards appeasing men that have not developed characteristics, traits, and the morality that makes them into quality, healthy men. That is what we are doing right now for women. And a lot of what women are being taught, we are being taught to live by these structures and systems that are built to appease this immature state of masculinity. So this is where, this is why this ties into why we need to end this era of women needing to feel like they are supposed to please men because pleasure is not a masculine trait. Pleasure is a feminine trait. And it is something that women are supposed to receive pleasure. And so I remember him getting so upset about that and, and coming into my Instagram and arguing with me about it. And that was actually like the end of our connection. I was like, absolutely like, you're crazy. Like, you watch my video and you're going to come and tell me that I should have said something else. They're basically trying to control what comes out of my mouth. And this is the same thing that people do when they're raising their daughters. It's like they want to control what comes out of her mouth. They want to control what she gets to do, what she gets to say, what she gets to experience. And when you do that, you actually stop the natural sovereignty and the expression of source 
to be embodied here on this planet because the feminine is not based off of rules and regulations and, and structure. The feminine is based off of life and the generation of life and the regeneration of life. So not everything it, that the feminine believes and says is going to follow along with the status quo. And people don't like that. More specifically, this matrix doesn't like that. And so going back to another conversation me and um, this guy had, um, I remember having a conversation with him, expressing to him, even before I had got to that point, expressing to him how I I felt about a lot of different things in relationship between masculine energy and feminine energy. And I remember him telling me that, you know, men don't want this kind of woman. Men want women to be like this. And women, men like it when women are like that. And men want this and men want that. And I was just like, I don't care what you want. Like what you keep telling me what men want, what men want, what men want. Like the world revolves around men. The world don't revolve around men. The world revolves around women. What earth do you live on? The world revolves around the feminine. The world revolves around women. The world literally is created from the feminine. So why are you as a man consistently and repetitively telling me what your wants and needs are as if I'm just supposed to bow down to what you want from me, okay? I'm not built and I'm not wired to give you what you want. I'm not created to give you what you want. You are created to uphold and uplift me. You are created to uphold and uplift feminine energy, not the other way around. That was in my earlier days when it was really taking me a long time to just accept and see and fully see that a lot of men do not understand that this is the way things work. A lot of women don't understand this is the way things work. And this is why, right? He He's literally like, you're gonna bend to my will. And if you don't, there's another woman who's gonna bend to my will. You're right about that. You're right about that. There There is another woman who's gonna bend to your will. But is this woman going to truly embody the, the traits and the characteristics that's gonna make you into a better man? Is this woman going to embody the traits and the characteristics that's going to up level your life? That's going to make you a rich man? That's going to sustain the wealth that you already have? That's going to create abundance and prosperity and blessings into your life? Or is she gonna be with you in your struggle mindset? Is she gonna be with you in all of the dense energy that you're gonna perpetually create in your life? because you're not in tune with the frequency of the earth. Yes, that is the kind of woman that you wanna be with. And this is the kind of woman that I am here expressing this so that women can see that it is time for you to transform out of this man-pleasing, people-pleasing, pleasing, a pleasing, pleasing, and just everybody gets this pleasure except for the main source that's supposed to receive this pleasure, which is you. This is why I'm making this video so that you can really start to understand and see how this realm is naturally made for you to be the receiver of pleasure, for you to be the one to receive the sovereignty and the freedom to be able to experience this pleasure. And when you do, that is when the blessings pour in. That is when society flourishes. That is when uh, cities become rich and radiant and there's life everywhere. There's abundance everywhere. When you go, go into areas and parts of the world and you see lack and you see poverty and you see strife and you see struggle, I want you to look at how those women are being treated. Look at how those women are treating themselves. Look at how they're carrying themselves. Look at how the, the collective energy of, of feminine energy in that area is being treated. And I will tell you the future and the projection of what that area is going to go through, 
okay? Either it's going to be many blessings in abundance or it's going to be a curse of poverty, of strife, depreciation. Basically, people start to depreciate. This is one way that we really see how women are, are being geared to please men because the society wants you to do that. Society wants you to please men, but we're not made to please men. We're not made to be performative and show up and, you know, engage in things that, especially when it comes to intimacy and sexuality, that's not something that's meant to be given to men to please them. That is something that is there for men to experience to deliver more pleasure for everyone, for us specifically. But this pleasure in us brings pleasure to everyone. So we are the ones who are supposed to be pleased. The world that we create is supposed to love on us, cater to us, worship us. And until we get into that mindset, until we 100% accept that that is what is meant for us as women, we will continue to experience being in states of deprivation, lack, poverty, depreciation, all just you name it, okay? So step back into your ownership of pleasure, step back into your ownership of receiving and put yourself first, okay? Whatever a man tells you that he wants and he needs from you, okay, you consider it, okay? It's a consideration. I'll consider it. If 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 you have met all the prerequisites and, and showed up in all the ways, it's not a necessary thing. So when men show up into your life demanding, like, oh, you're supposed to be like this, you're supposed to do this, men want this, it's like, go somewhere else with that, okay? Go somewhere else with that. I'm not made to appease you. It's the other way around. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments. Do you believe that women are made to please men? Are you? Do you believe that women are made to um, basically appease and please and serve men? Or do you believe that true truly powerful and abundant couples families and communities are filled with women that are be, are being pleased that are being worshiped that are being catered to and that are given the freedom to creatively express themselves voice their opinions go where they want to go do what they want to do and live their life without being told men want this, men do that, men are like this. So you need to change yourself, you need to cage yourself to appease this distorted masculine energy of the planet. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments and I will meet you all there. Peace.